Cruise control was originally only found on high-end luxury cars, but now even the smallest cars often have it fitted as standard. If you have never used cruise control before, then the controls might look confusing. But once mastered, it is a useful system that will allow us to stay relaxed when driving long distances. In this video, we will show how and when to use cruise control so you can take advantage of this useful system. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you are notified next time we release a new video. If you have any questions for us, then please comment below and we will reply as soon as we can. Cruise control is an electric system that will allow us to set our car at a constant speed, letting us take our foot off the accelerator pedal. The system will automatically increase or decrease the engine power to compensate for gradients and wind. Our car has a manual gearbox, so we still have to change gears ourselves before engaging the cruise control. But on automatic cars, it will even change gears when needed. Possibly the biggest benefit of using cruise control is that it is more relaxing for the driver as there is one less thing to concentrate on whilst driving. It also allows the driver to move their legs around to stay comfortable if driving a longer journey. Cruise control can also reduce the chance of speeding, especially in average speed camera zones where it is easy to accidentally speed up and creep over the limit. It may even save a little fuel, as maintaining a set speed will always use less fuel than constantly accelerating and braking to change our speed repeatedly. Depending on the car, the location of the controls can vary, and on this car, the buttons are on the left side of the steering wheel. There will be a button to turn the system on, and others to set the cruising speed, increase and decrease the cruising speed, cancel cruising, resume cruising, and turn the system off again. For full details of how your car works, check the owner's manual. Let's see how this works on the road. The grey icon in the car's instruments confirms that the cruise control system is already turned on. Once we have turned left, we accelerate the car up to speed and then press the set button to start cruising. The cruise control icon turns green and confirms the speed we have set. We can now lift our foot from the accelerator and the car will maintain the correct amount of engine power for us. We should always keep our feet near to the pedals whilst cruising, just in case there is a hazard that requires us to take action. Once we are cruising, we can adjust our speed by using the plus and minus buttons. We can tap them to change our speed by one mile per hour at a time, or hold them down to change speed faster. We can also press the accelerator pedal to manually speed the car up and then press set once more to cruise at a higher speed. There are several ways to cancel cruising. There is a cancel button we can press. We can press the brake pedal and on most cars the clutch pedal will also cancel the cruise control. On the display, the cruise icon is greyed out again to show the system is in standby. It's OK to leave the system on standby once used, and it will automatically turn off when the vehicle is switched off. If we then need to resume cruising at the previous speed, we can press the RES button, and the car will return to the speed we were last cruising at we can see the green icon has returned again.
There are times that it is not safe to use cruise control, such as when driving in heavy traffic, on winding roads or on steep hills. This is because we need precise control over our car and maintaining a constant speed could cause danger. Using cruise control is allowed on a driving test, but unless you are very familiar with using the system, it could be an unnecessary distraction and is probably best avoided. A new improvement to the basic cruise control system we have shown in this video is adaptive cruise control. This system is usually found on more expensive cars and will use radar sensors to read the traffic ahead and maintain a safe distance from them by automatically accelerating and braking to match the speed of the traffic flow up to the maximum speed that we have set. Some cars will even do this from a standstill which makes traffic jams a breeze. So remember to choose a safe place to use cruise control, use the controls to set your speed, keep your feet ready to react for a hazard and enjoy a more relaxing journey. If you found this video interesting and would like to be notified when we release the next one, then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel. If you would like to help us make new videos, then please consider becoming a member or patron of our channel. Thanks for watching.